be doing in first slide. Where is she, Hema? Hema, you are in the same school, no? Yes. So, exams are over, no? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, so we are doing a bit to one chapter of the others. You must also not that one is also not that one. Where is it? The uh, first one. Build the art. What are you doing in school? How was your exam? Very easy. Easy? Good go. You write yes. properly when is the result going to come out? 21st. 21st. Okay, you let me know. How do you tell? You got 23 out of 30 in your school exam. And what happened to the seven marks? We have lost marks in an inquiry letter. And? Three marks are error and correction. And? Error is a correction mark. I lost two marks and I think the question answers. Two marks and question answers. So, inquiry letter, we lost three marks and two marks in grammar and two marks in. And what is the highest in the class? C. So who is going to get 30 then? Next time you try to get good marks, okay? We can do it. Okay. Which book have you brought then? If you don't have this book. What friends will that be you have brought? You have brought? What friends will that be? No, it's the same thing. If you do this, then both of you will be sharing this one. Okay. Of course, friends with our feet, he hasn't brought no? So we need to go much better. Do you know what an author is? I can see like Before we start, we are doing Mitch Bill's order. Where have we heard the mention of an order? Order is a land animal, a water animal. Water. 
right? Uh, can you describe an otter? Have you seen a sea? Have you seen an otter? Like, no, it has whiskers. Okay, it is sort of uh, the size must be like this, somewhat of a sea, but it has mustaches or it has whiskers, not mustaches. Just like cat has whiskers, when they have whiskers. That's an otter. Can otters be kept as pet? Sometimes my animals can be kept as pets. Okay, so you would have uh, some people. Normally, what are the pets we keep? Dogs, dogs, dogs. We have dogs. Very common is dogs. And then, even more than dogs is what? Birds. Okay, birds and dogs and rodents in a sense. Okay, hamster is not really a rodent. Hamster is something bigger than a rabbit. It's a hamster. Okay, so rabbits you keep. Yes, and nowadays cats also have become very common. They keep cats also. So most common pets that we keep in our house is this. Apart from that, we also have some sea creatures. You can think of turtles. Very good turtles and fishes. We have aquariums, right? So many people have aquariums and they keep fishes. That's also very common. So it's very um, many people keep aquariums. And fishes, and then we have these turtles nowadays, and quite many houses you find uh, people keeping turtles. And so these are the common ones. But there are some people like um, nature enthusiasts and or people who love animals who can keep these other extraordinary animals which normally others don't keep. Snakes. Okay, some people yes they do keep snakes, and think. Some people also keep uh, cubs. We won't say lions, but they can keep the. Uh, they sometimes keep uh, this also chimpanzees, also gorilla, also uh, orangutans. Okay, so all these are uh, animals also. Uh, some people uh, keep who are you know nature lovers or who are animal lovers. They keep all these. Uh, uh, not very common animals as their pets. Yes, elephants also can be tamed, they can be kept as not really pets, we don't keep them, we tell them, but yes, they can be tamed and kept. Have you uh, seen that uh, movie, Elephant Whisperers? Which one? The Oscar Prize, Oscar Award? No? That should watch, isn't it? And it is a documentary movie uh, on how the native Indians of uh, I think in Kerala, mm. they have, oh. yeah, Jantli, Jantli, oh. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the name, but then there are these two, um, uh, this couple who keep uh, these, they are the, uh, the elephant calf lost the parents when it was small, and so they, with this couple, they, Adopted him and they got tamed him and they got kept and looked after him. So that's the story about the elephant whispers. Okay, so you'll watch it since it's something that the world has recognized. You should also be able to appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to start with Midwil the order. Did you find? No, it is not in that. It is. It is in first slide only, page number eighty-one. Okay, got it. And there are two, the so, four, four parts, four parts. Four parts, not four stories actually. Four parts, small, small parts, not big parts. And see, the first part is only half a page. Second part is a little big. No. I think it's the same story, but then divided into four parts. Mid and Maiden, London. Okay, let's just give a brief uh, <coughs> reading to this. And this you'll read later. What other things uh, you should do uh, if you want to have a puppy? Now, keep, keeping our uh, you know um, pets in the house is not a very fun affair. You have to be really, really 
taking good care of them. So if you have a pet at home, it's almost like adopting a child. Okay, because it cannot do anything of its own now that it is in your place. It cannot do. If you leave it in the open, then it's up to them. They will find its power and get food for them. But you, if you leave it at home and everything is packed into the fridge, uh, how is that uh, uh, pet going to find food for itself? No way, isn't it? So whose responsibility is it to feed the pet? Your responsibility, right? So if you wouldn't want, if it was out in the open, it would go and uh, defecate anywhere it wants, right? But if it's at house, do you want your bed to defecate on the table, in the chair, on your bed? No. So you have to give them toilet training. Right? So if it falls sick, what are you going to do? You will have to take the bed to the bed and take care of them. Regular vaccination has to be done of your bed. So it is like a full-time engagement. Right? So it is not easy to keep a bed at we're not talking about fishes. We can't do anything to them. But the others, you have to really take care of. Now see the picture of the otter is here. Can you see? It's sort of on the half of it is seen, and you can see the whiskers like that. That's called an otter. And they catch fishes, and that is their main food. This fish. You must say. And London was given here, mostly brought that to you. Yeah. are found in large numbers in the marshes. What do you mean by marshes? Give me another word for marshes. marshes. Yes. Give me another word for marshes. Marshes so what is it called? It starts with S. Think. Now we yes. S W A M P. Swamp. Marshes are swamps, which means they are land which is submerged under water. Okay. So then it is a land which is boggy, which you know it is a, um, when you have, when you, have you gone to this creek? Mm -hmm. uh, what is that place called? Uh, I forgot that. Rashi Vada Creek is there. Huh? So that's an entire place is a marshy area. Where the sea water gets into the land and the land remains by and swamp. That's called marshes. So, where do they mostly stay? They stay in the marshes, which is water also and land as well. Wet areas near lakes, river seas, near Basra, a town in Iraq. <coughs> okay, imagine you wanted to bring an auto from Iraq to London, so we will not imagine that. Let's directly go to the text. Okay, let me just read, start reading and then you can continue. Early in the year, early in the new year of 1956, I traveled to southern Iraq. By then, it had crossed my mind that I should like to keep an otter instead of a dog and that Camusferna, huh, Camusferna ringed by water, a stone's throw from its door, would be an eminently suitable spot for this experiment. Uh, that I should like to. So, what did he do in 1956? He traveled to southern Iraq. Where is Iraq? Tell me geographically. Middle East. So, over there we had this uh, place in the year 1956 when the narrator decided that instead of keeping a dog as a pet, he would like to keep an otter. And that uh, Camus Verna is the name of the place. Ringed by uh, water, a stone's throw from its door would be an eminently suitable spot for this experiment. Eminently means over here would be an eminently distinct. Okay. So 
So if we had to keep a pet otter, what kind of land would it require? It would require a place which was somewhat be like the natural habitat of the otter. So maybe just outside their doorstep, there was this swampy area, this canvas corner, whichever place this is, must be that kind of a swampy, uh, marshy area. And so we thought that is a very good spot to start this experiment of keeping an otter. You read, Gaurav? And I naturally mentioned this to a friend. He, uh, he has Remember, read been... story because I'm going to ask you only what you read. Yes. When I casually mentioned this uh, to a friend, he has casually replied uh, that I had better uh, better get one in the uh, dangerous marshes for where they were as common as mosquitoes and were often tamed by Arabs. We were going to ask our the consul general the tenant and ask our family from Europe. At the consulate general, we found that my friend's mail had arrived, but mine had not. Okay. So when I casually mentioned this to a friend, he has casually replied that better get one in the Tigris marshes. Tigris is what? The name of a yes. river. Okay. Remember Tigris Euphrates, these two rivers. You're not done in geography. Okay. So Tigris uh, is a place, obviously it's a river. So it's river banks will be this marshy area. So the friend said that you go to the Tigris marshes, there the uh, otters are very common over there, so you can get it easily from there. They are as common as mosquitoes, means you find many otters over there. And we are often tamed by the Arabs. We were going to Basra to the Consulate General. Okay, what do you mean by Consulate General? What is a Consulate? Consultant? No. Every country has a Suppose you are Indians, right? If you go to Germany, there will be an Indian consulate over there. Similarly, if you are... Huh? No. It's, it's, it's a government office of... It's a uh, representative of another uh, country in your country. So, because there are many people who are coming from different country to our country. We are going to different countries. So, in that country, you need to have some a government authority over there to look after your problems, isn't it? If you come across any problem when you are when you have gone outside, suppose you have gone to Singapore or maybe you have gone to Germany. So what will happen? Over there you don't have anybody of your own, of your country. So in every country where India has relations and where there is immigration, there is an office of the Indian government. That is called the consulate. And the head of that consulate is the consulate general. Okay. So, and then, uh, because if you fall into trouble, where do you go to? You go to the Indian consulate. Right. If there was this Ukraine problem and so many people, so many students and people were stuck in Ukraine, when the Ukraine war broke out. So, where will they go to? Is the Ukrainian government going to help them? No, because it's their government. So, where will they go to? They will go to the Indian consulate in Ukraine. And from there, they have these uh, the diplomatic relations with all. They will make sure that you are safe and sound. That's how they send the Ukrainian students. That's called the consulate. So they went there uh, to the cons uh, to Basra, to the consulate general, maybe to collect and answer some mails which had come from Europe. However, he did not find his, he found his friend's mail, but he could not find his Santa, read long. I gave her to England and, then, and when three days later, nothing had happened. I tried to tell you wow. the call had to be booked 24 hours in advance. Wow. On the first day, the lines were out of the order. On the second, the exchange was <coughs> for a religious community. On the third day, there was another breakdown. 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 My friend left and I arranged to wait him in a week's time. Five days later, my mail arrived. Okay, so for the mail, remember this is this is not a story written now. This is a story written quite some time back where it was not that you have a cell phone or a mobile phone and you get uh, tele telephones also you have to send urgent messages through 
telegrams okay or telegrams so first he sent a message through a telegram cable means sending message through the telegram machine so then also he did not get a reply then he tried to telephone and that time also telephoning other country is how you do not have a direct line you have to call the exchange number okay and that exchange number will connect you to the other country so that is how then you can speak directly through the exchange so there used to be a medium through which suppose i have to talk to you i am in india and you are in london so i have to call him he is sitting in the exchange and he will then call you up and then he will connect the line between you and me i cannot call you so that exchange you have to telephone that's called a telephone exchange the call had to be booked 24 hours in advance that also you have to call i have to call him and tell i am going to place a call tomorrow and he is going to do it in advance you have to book that call okay in advance and so they immediately would pick up and call okay then on the first day the line was out of order so they, he couldn't on the second day the exchange was closed because it was a religious holiday and the third day what happened there was another breakdown at the telephone exchange so somehow he was not able to connect with the person from whom he was supposed to get the mail now his friend had already got the mail so the friend was now no more longer willing to wait for so long he had already waited 3 days so he parted with his uh, from his friend and the friend said that okay i will meet you in a weeks time and after 5 days ultimately the mail and later my mail arrived hey ma i can you to my bedroom to me and this boarding on the floor what do i have beside the arabs arabs beside them lay a sack of sand lay a sack that is gone from time to time they handle me on the from my friend he is a water you know this auto okay so after 5 days when the mail came he took the mail and he went home to read the mail when he went there he saw two arabs and they were sitting down squatting means squat means sitting with your foot legs folded like you sit on the floor what do you do how do you do you squat okay that's called squatting cross legged sitting cross legged With the opening of that sack, so and then you. What do you mean by squirming? They were squirming. And he found a sack. Sack, you know what's a sack? It's that gunny bags you have, no? Where you the you must have seen the potatoes and tomatoes being raw. That's a gunny bag. It's a sack. So in that sack, something was moving, okay, and twisting and moving. And when he opened it, he saw it was the otter, and his friend had. Sent it to him. Here is your order. The Gaurav. In the opening of the sack, begin a phase of my life that that has not yet ended, and me for all I know, not yet end before I do. It is an effort of thraldom. A thraldom. A thraldom to orders and order fixation. That I have since found to be shared by most of the people who have ever owned one. Okay. So what does he say? Say when he opened the sack, it was the beginning of a new phase. What was the new phase? Keeping an otter as a pet. So that was a new phase which had started, and he said it's not likely to end. At least not before I. Okay, so till death, it is that order is going to be my uh, prized possession, something which I cannot do away with. And so, and he says that this thraldom, thraldom means this extreme uh, <coughs> happiness. Enthralling means extremely happy. So this thraldom, this fixation, this attachment, this attraction to the pet 
He says this is a common thing among all others who have kept daughters as pets. Okay, they cannot get away from that, you know, affection and admiration for the daughters. He says it can be shared by most other people who have ever owned an daughter. Fixation means a very strong attachment or feeling. The feature that emerges from, Emerge. emerge from the sack on the spacious tile floor on the consulate of the consulate of the consulate bedroom we assembled most of all a very small medievally hmm? medievally medievally and seal dragon hmm. from the head to the tip of the tail he was coated with Symmetrical pointed scale of the mud armor. Between those tips was between a most tips. Between those tips was visible a soft velvet fur like that of a chocolate brown tone. Yeah. He shook himself, and I have ex expected the half expected. Half expected a cloud of a dust. Cloud of dust. But in fact, it was not for another month. That I managed to remove the last of the mud and see the water as it were in its true colors. Okay, so this is the description of the otter. This is a creature that emerged. Emerge means? What's the meaning of emerged? Emerged means came out. So the creature that emerged from the sack onto the spacious tiled floor of the consulate bedroom resembled most of all a very small, medievally conceived rat. Spacious means a lot of room, roomy. Another word for spacious is room, yes, which has a lot of space. Spacious is. <coughs> The obviously consulate is a very big place and the bedroom is also huge. And so when it came out, it resembled a small medievally conceived dragon. So in the in the medieval times, how they conceived or thought of as dragons, it emerged to be like that. Okay, from the head to the tip of the tail, it was coated with symmetrical pointed scales of mud armor. What was why so think? They live in the swamps and the marshes, isn't it? It's all muddy. So from head to toe, could the otter be seen properly? No, it was covered with these armors, means scales. So they had scales and layers of mud over his body. So he um, could not see the otter in his true form at all. It only appeared to be scales and armors of mud. Between whose tips was visible a soft velvet fur like that of a chocolate brown moon. So in between, in between those mud, little little of his skin could be seen. And it was a fur skin of what color? Chocolate brown. Okay. Chocolate and what is a mole? Mole is a? Mole is a creature. So what creature? What kind of creature? It's similar to? It's similar to that. Mole is a bigger rat. Okay. Uh, it's a rat family. He shook himself and I half expected a cloud of dust, but in fact it was not for another month that I managed to remove the last of the mud. So first it came out and then it shook itself. When it shook itself, what happened? All the mud started come falling out. And it seemed like a cloud of dust. But even though it shook and all that, still the entire mud did not come off. It took the narrator one whole month for those scales to be removed and to see the actual true color of the water. That is in its own form. Drink. <coughs> Useful as they call the author was in fact of race uh, of a race previously unknown to science and was at length Christianized by Christian Christian zoologists 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 uh, Lutrogay Bus P. Silata 
Good answers for children. Lunging means? Yes, tell answer. Jumping. So you went plunging into the, you know, those uh, places outside, they have bathtubs, right? Liquid bathtub. So the bathtub was there and daughters used to, it's a water creature, water animal. So it saw the water and went by with joy and jumped into it and plunged and played for full half an hour. And making enough slosh and splash for the people. Slosh and splash means it's the sound that you make when you jump into water. That's fishing sound. This was slosh. And it was so happy, it was jumping so much, it seemed as if a hippo was in the water. You know, hippos like to be in water only. If you have gone to a zoo, if you are the only, if you see, if you look for a hippo, you'll find the hippo under the water only. Maybe your nose will be sticking out only that much. So it seemed as if it was like a hippo. This I was to learn as a characteristic of waters. Every drop of water must be, so to speak, extended and spread about the place. So, what was the characteristic of the water? Splash water. Okay, that is the characteristic of water. And expand about the place, a bowl must at once be overturned, or if it will not be overturned, be sat in a slosh until it overflows. So, either they are going to do what? They are going to overturn the bowl. If there is a bowl of water, the water will go and overturn the water. Or else, it will sit in the water and make sure the water is all spilled out. So that is what the authors love to do, that is spill and spread water all around. So first they will try to water, if they can't, they will jump into it, they will sit and they will make sure that the water is all splashed. Water must be kept on the move and made to do things. When static it is wasted and provoking. So for the otter, the water must be moving. Because when it is no water, drink water. Yeah, an answer. directly from school. Yes. Yes, now you pick it up. After Sunday, we'll have to pick you also up. Okay. So what happened? What do they do with water? Otters tell me what do otters do about water? What is their fascination? Why do they splash water? Huh? <laughs> I was talking about hippos. <laughs> I was talking about hippos. Huh. What do otters do? Yeah, it's Very good. So, gone far away into the land of dreams huh? to catch fishes in the water. Very good. What to get in board? We have to take out some fishes from the aquarium and put it over there also. No. What is its unique characteristic? Satak tell. What does it like to do? Jump. Plunge. Plunge. Yes. So it wants to move the waters. The water should be moving all around. Water cannot remain static. Static means? Stable. Stable. Without movement. Okay. So water cannot remain static. What is it? So just like the water over there in the bottle is static now. Once you drink it, it will be moving. So what do the otters, they do not like, otters don't like static water. Whenever they see a pool of water, what will they do? They will splash, splash and they will throw all the water out. The water has to be moving and doing something. It cannot just stay at one place. If it stays at one place, it is provoking. Provoking means tempting you to, tempting the otter to move the water, to throw the water, to overturn the boat. But do something to make the water move. Okay? Have you understood the relation between otter and water? What is the relation between otter and water? Tell me now. They like to splash them and keep them away. Yes. And first what they do? First they try to overturn. And if they can't overturn, then what do they do? They jump into it and spill the water. Hema. Hema, I will stop Hema in between and ask you to read. So, pay attention. Okay, then it is Gauravi's turn. Very good. Gauravi. Okay, then it is Gauravi's turn. Very good. Gauravi. I will escape from my bedroom as I enjoyed it. And I turned to see the snail disappearing around the bend of the corridor that led to the bathroom. 
by the time I got there, he was up, uh, from the head of the bar club and fumbling at the fumbling to mean taps to this boss. Hmm. I watched, amazed. In, in less than a minute, he had turned the tap far enough to produce a trickle of water. And after a moment uh, or two, achieved the full flow. Hmm. He had been uh, be lucky to turn the tap the right by right away. On later occasions, he would sometimes do it up still. Tighter, chittering with irritation and disappointment at the tap's failure to complain. Okay, now tell me what did you read? Which will was uh, the narrator saw which will uh, walking towards the bathroom through the corridor, mm. sticking out his tail, mm. and then he, he saw him at the end of the bathtub, mm. sta standing on the end and uh, moving the tap or tap. Coming means? Trying to, okay, grasp it, trying to grasp this was fumbling with the water tap. And then what did he do? He was trying to make a flow of water. To okay, he was trying to open the tap. Was he able to? Yes. First he tried little. So there was a trickle of water. And then I see the um, intelligence of he knew that he was doing it the right way. So then he kept on doing till there was this heavy flow of water. But the narrator says he was he was lucky in the first time. Why was he unlucky in the other times? How did he screw up the taps? He reversed the grass. Okay? He was trying to open it the other way and so instead of opening he was actually tightening the tap which screwed the tap up and and how did the otter feel? Yeah, there's a word over there. Disappointing. And there's another word. Irritated. Okay, because he was trying his best to open the tap. He felt that first time he was able to open it. So second also the water should flow. But he did not realize he was doing it the other way around. So he was wondering why the tap is not cooperating with him. Okay, and he was irritated and disappointed with the tap. Very soon he means would follow me without the leg. Leaf, leaf. Leaf is that uh, leash that you tie around the body of your other pet. Leaf. And come to me when I call it his name. He spent most of his time in play. He spent hours shuffling a rubber ball and round the room like a four footed, four footed soccer player. Four footed soccer player. Dribble the ball. And he could Mitch. also throw it. Midge. Midge is the short form of Midge Bill, the name of the author. Okay, so Midge Bill is being uh, referred to as Midge. With a powerful flick of the neck, no surprising light and distance. But the real, real play of an author is when he lies on his back and juggles with small objects between his paws. Marbles were Midge's favorite toy. For this pastime, uh, he would lie on his back, rolling two or more of them up and down. His wife. Hmm. His wife flat. Back head. belly without uh, ever ever dropping one to the floor. Dropping one to the floor. Okay, let's see. It says very soon Mitch would follow me without a lead and come to me when I called his name. So little by little, what was he getting to be? So it's getting to be used to and tamed. Okay. So, and he was trained also. So, now no longer he needed a lead to take him along with him. Whenever he would call out which is name, which is which would follow. He spent most of his time in play. Means he would, most of his time he would be playful. He spent hours shuffling a rubber ball around the room like a four footed soccer player using all four feet to dribble the ball. What's the meaning of dribbling the ball? How do they dribble the ball? Have you seen soccer players? Yes. Soccer means football, no? Yes. Soccer means football. football. There, there, football is again different. Okay. There, soccer is uh, different. They will. Yes. So, uh, they would dribble the, that is, with the hand, they dribble the ball. So it's like he, he was so playful, he would have a rubber ball and he would be dribbling that ball with all his four paws, all around the room that was his play. 
Okay. Uh, with a powerful flick of the neck to surprisingly high and distance, and sometimes what they would do with his head and his it would throw the ball up to a very great height and distance. But the real play of an otter is when he lies on his back and juggles with small objects between his paws. So you have to imagine he is on his back, his four paws are up, and he juggles this. Have you seen the juggler? Yeah, they throw the ball and hold it with this. So with his four paws, he would be juggling small, small. Objects and that is a fascinating thing to watch. Marbles were Mitchell's favorite toys for his pastime. Have you played with marbles? Marble means those round round. Yes, gilly, danda. That's it. So those marbles we have played. Have you seen? Not the more marble one, not the tile marble. marble. It's those round round glass balls. That's called marbles. So marbles were Mitch's favorite toys for his pastime. He would lie on his back, rolling two or more of them up and down, up and down his wide, flat belly without ever dropping one to the floor. You know they are very. If you have played with them, they are small and they are what we say, bound, not bouncy. They roll very quickly. You, they are very difficult to keep stable. And what would he do? He would roll it along his fat, wide belly. From one end to the other, but it would not drop onto the floor, which is a very difficult task to do, which can be done with the control of his muscles. Okay, so Mitchell was able to do these things. But tell me what what plays I mentioned here. First one is with a rubber ball. Okay, no dribbling with the sport balls. Second. He's on his back and he's juggling small, small particles. And third, this one marbles. He would move from one end of his belly to the other end without dropping it even once. Now, those some small questions are there here. Let's see what questions whether you are able to answer them or not. What experiment did Maxwell think? Chemisphere would be suitable for. Let's start with God. Taming an otter or give better phrase it up properly. The experiment was to see if an otter can be tamed. If an otter can be kept as a pet, pet. Okay, rather than tamed. Said whether an otter can be kept as a pet. Second one, why does he go to Basra? How long does he wait there and why? Hmm? Nahi, we have done this. Why does he go to Basra? Go through the questions. Why does he go to Basra? First paragraph, let's get no, he goes to Basra to collect. Yes, to collect and answer mails from Europe. Okay, then second part is how long does he wait there? Three days. No. Five, six, seven, eight, and now eight days. See, three days he waited with his friend. Then his friend left, and then the mail came after. Five days. So about a week, you can say. Or eight days. And why? Why you have to tell that in details? Hima tell. And then tell in details why you have to wait for so many days. Look into that paragraph, otherwise you will not be able to answer. Once there was a huge queue. Queue? No, there was no queue. As well as mail hadn't come, his friends mail had come, but his mail had not come. Then what did he do? So he so, went to England. Yes, he came to England. But did he but get an answer? Nothing. So then what did he try he next? Tried to telephone the yes, he tried to telephone. And book twenty-four hours. And had I wanted to book a call, which took for twenty-four hours, taking twenty-four hours. But then what happened? First day, the lion was out of order. Yes. Second day, 
religious function and third day there was another breakdown so he had to wait for another five days to get his pain so he stayed in Basra for about a week how does he get the order does he like it pick out the words that tell you this how does he get the order got it Who gave him the order? No. Who sent him the order? His friend. No. Children, you are going to read it again. I read it once along with you all. No. How is it that I remember? You have the book in front of you. His friends. Remember, he went back to the consulate, and there were two Arabs sitting, and they had brought a. Sack, sack, which was squirming, and when he took it out, he found the order, and he found a note from his friend saying, "This is your order. It is your order." Hmm. So, who had given him the uh, order? His friend had given him the order, maybe which he got from Tigris, and which was brought in by two Arabs. That you can see. Does he like it? Yes. Find out, pick out words. Got to tell me. Which words tell that he likes it or not? The top words will say that he liked it. No. Which words tell that he was very happy? I made a body bed for me. I don't know if he saw the bathroom. But for half an hour, he went by the chocolate. I am not. The question is not find out words, not instances where he liked the order. Find out the words which show that he was happy. Draw down. Auto fixation. Plunging. No, plunging means jumping. Yes. We can use these two words. Yes, I just formed. I carried it to my bedroom, and here's your. Yes. These two words we can use to say that he was. Uh, why was the author named Maxwell's author, Santa? Because the previous the race previously unknown to science and then Christianized by the two of them. Christianized or Christian? Christian means named. Okay, the meaning of Christian is named. By zoology, you go again. First, pick the name. What? Then properly. First, break the syllable first, and tell. First, 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 no, you're still mispronouncing it. Yeah, yeah, silata, silata, no, and double and a, silata. Yes. Yeah. So now frame and tell me properly. Why was it called? Why was the author named Maxwell's author? As the author was. Don't sit down between the as the author was. The author uh, was unknown yes. to uh, the science previously. Yes. So they. So they. So the zoologist said it, no? Uh, so the zoologist. Christian. Hmm. Christian it as whatever the full name, also called the Maxwell's Take the right answer in the beginning. The author was Hima. Aloof and indifferent, friendly, hostile. Aloof and indifferent. Okay. Sixth one. That also you will tell him. 
What happened when Maxwell took Midgeville to the bathroom? What did it do two days after that? Say properly, you cannot do it in one line. Right? Read, read out that paragraph and tell. What happened when Maxwell took Midgeville to the bathroom? He went to the bathroom when feeling cold. You have a cold. You yes, want the AC to be switched off. Yes, he went while okay. No, then the cooling in it. No. Shooting up and down the water water and Okay. Then to the water and the water. Okay. And then okay. says, what do you do two days after that? After two days, uh, two days later, it's a uh, less uh, slip from the uh, from my bedroom from the narrator's bedroom and enter the uh, corridor of the bathroom. Okay, enter the bathroom for the words. Stand and to turn on the tap. Yes, and and try to turn on the tap and make the water flow slow. So, you have understood this much, but read it um, once again. Okay? Just give a, give a reading and I will come in 5 minutes. And then we will do 3 and 4. And then we will do the. You have got the volumes? Yes. Okay. By the time we feel around doing anything, sit down.